What's going on? So Joel Embiid scored 50 points last night as Philadelphia now trails New York 2-1. to one. Mr. Brunson had 39 for the Knicks, and he, looked, he was balling, but Joel Embiid had to go for 50. And I know you know I did my video about Tobias Harris, and I was like, if this turkey stops stealing money, he scored his. Charles Barkley had some fantasy league thing. He could have won if Tobias Harris had a crack 10 points. He scored eight. Yes, I'm picking on that because Charles Barkley is so right. Tobias Harris, he's right on this. Kelly Uber, they cannot be behind Kyle Lowry at this stage. Maxie's balling. He's the second best on the Sixers, but they don't get nothing out of nobody. If they got something out of anybody, they'd probably be up against the Knicks. This series is not a foregone conclusion that the Knicks should win. It's actually more for Philly, but because they are so half-hearted and play like bums and play like when they feel like it, this is why the Knicks probably win this series. But if MB got a ball out of his mind to keep these turkeys afloat, he almost would have gotten thrown out that game for that takedown like he's watching WWF and understand that takedown when he pulled Hart down. But I'm looking at this because Nick Nurse is coaching. It's just that they're not getting anything out of Tobias Harris. They're not at all. Kelly Uber scored 15. They're just anemic. You know, it's like, come on now. Y'all could beat the Knicks. Y'all actually got a better squad, especially when you got a league MVP candidate. Without a, a Julius Randle for the Knicks, you should be able to explore. This should be a seven-game series, six, seven-game series. Philly should win if you other step up. The coach should kill them. That's embarrassing when they don't. But MB, when he's on his game, can score with the best of them. You know, if he gets some help, he could be scary if that's the opportune word. So I'm not going to touch about the Cleveland Orlando game because I really don't have a real vested interest. And I don't really see neither one of those two teams as anything deep. I like Bachero and I like, you know, Donald Mitchell, okay. But they're two. You know, two teams in two directions. I don't see neither one of them as a threat. So I'm just going to talk about when I do my NBA playoff take on certain teams, I'm just going to stick to teams I think that are legit or got something. And Philly is frustrating. New York's playing over their, over their heads because they don't have another score. They don't have enough depth. And that's the reason why I'm not buying them for a deep run. Beating Philly is kind of half-hearted because Philly would not have been in this place if Embiid had been healthy. I'm convinced that his injury is why he's not the league MVP. That's how I'm looking at it, but he's not getting any help. So this is not all on him. They don't have no help for him. I don't know if you got to go to old folks home and call Dr. J, Charles Barkley, Maurice Cheeks to come back and give you something. I know they at least can put two points each up. They can match three or four of them old Sixers can match what Tobias Harris does every night. I'm just saying it is really embarrassing for him to be. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And Nick Nurse is legit as a coach. He just ain't no help there. They need a big old, they should start giving our son the statue. They say, look, when you come back, we'll get you a bigger statue. Please come back. I'm for real. I'm out.